Hey friends, welcome to today's Aftercare Read Aloud with Ms. Henderson. This month's theme is STEM, which stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. And today we're going to focus on the T, which stands for Technology. Today we're going to read History of Inventions, Communication Technology, From Smoke Signals to Smartphones. Keeping in Touch. People have always talked to each other from far away, but they did not always have telephones. They used different ways to get in touch with each other. Smoke signals. Native Americans used smoke signals. They built a fire on a hill. They waved a wet blanket over the fire in patterns. The smoke rose in the air. People far away could read the patterns it made. Semaphore. Sailors used colored flags to signal to other ships. The flags were waved in patterns. The patterns made up words. This is called semaphore. Sealed letters. People sent sealed letters. They dripped hot wax on the envelope. They pressed their ring into the wax. This sealed the letter. Telegraph. The telegraph sent messages over long distances. It used electric signals. The signals went through a wire. These messages used a special code. It was called Morse code. Morse code. You tapped in dots and dashes using a key. Each letter or number had a different pattern. Can you type your name? Morse code spelled out words. People read your messages at another telegraph. They sent a message back. So the telegraph was kind of like texting in a way because you were sending messages over a long distance. Let's look at the different parts of the telegraph. Here you have the knob, contact, another contact, and a pivot. Box phone. Early phones were big and heavy. They hung from the wall. You could not call someone yourself. You had to speak to an operator. So an operator is a person that would take the call and then transfer your call to the person that you want to talk to. Telephone exchange. Telephone lines went to a telephone exchange. You said who you wanted to talk to. The operator connected your phone to theirs. Let's look at the different parts of the box phone. There was the hook at the top, the earpiece, which you use to listen to the person on the other end, bells, and the mouthpiece, which is the part that you talked into. So it says, old telephone. You spoke into the mouthpiece. You listened through the earpiece. Bells rang when a call came through. Radio waves. Radio telephones used radio wave signals. Messages were sent as pulses. You could call someone far away. They could hear your voice. In 1915, 1915 radio call. A voice message was sent from a radio station in Arlington, Virginia. It reached the Eiffel Tower in Paris, France. It had traveled 3,800 miles. That's 6,115 kilometers. So that's a far, far, far way to travel. And let's look at the machine that they used to do this. So it says the machine had a transmitter that sent radio waves. You spoke into the mouthpiece. You listened through the headphones. And the different parts of this machine is a transmitter, mouthpiece, headphones, and dial. Dial-up. People began using phones with number dials. Each house was given a phone number. You didn't need an operator to make a call. Dial phone. Dial phones had 10 numbers. You put your finger in a circle, then spun it around. You dialed a phone number. Touch tone phones. 
Later, touch tone phones were used. You pushed buttons to make a call. Each button made a different sound. So many of you might not have seen the dial phone, but I'm sure many of you have seen a touch tone phone. Let's look at the different parts of the touch tone phone. There are the buttons with the different numbers on it, the receiver, which is the part that you pick up and you speak into, the cord, which connects the receiver to the bottom, which is called the base. Computers. Early computers used modems to reach other computers. Modems use sound signals to send messages. The signals go along telephone lines. They connect to other computers. Wi-Fi. We've all heard of Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi connects computers to the internet, but it doesn't need a wire to connect. It uses radio waves. Wow, let's look at this computer. Does this computer look like a computer that you may use today? No. This is an older type of computer. It says electronic mail. Emails are electronic messages. You type an email in your computer, then you press send. Your friend can send an email back. So on this computer, there's a modem, computer, screen, and the keyboard. So it has the same features as a computer that we may use today, but it definitely is a lot bigger and it doesn't look like something that you may have at home. Cell phone. The first cell phones were big and heavy. They had an antenna. You push numbers on the keypad. Today's cell phones are much smaller and lighter. Cell network. Cell phones are connected to a network. The network has cell towers that send signals. They connect phones using radio waves. Wow, let's look at this cell phone. Does it look like a cell phone that your parents might have? No, it looks different. It looks much bigger. Let's look at the different parts of this cell phone. There's the antenna, the speaker, the microphone, and the keypad. It says the microphone was at the bottom. You talked into it. You pressed your ear up to the top. You heard your friend's voice through the speaker. Smartphone. Modern phones are called smartphones. They do a lot more than make calls. Smartphones are like tiny computers. You can send emails or search the internet. How many of you have a cell phone? Right, lots of people have cell phones. Let's read on. Many computers. Smartphones have a camera to take photos. You can download apps to play games. You can read music. You can read a book or listen to music. You can watch a movie. Wow, let's look at the different parts of the smartphone. You have the camera, apps, the search bar, and the home button. Buttons turn the phone on and off. The home button takes you back to the start screen. Future phones. New smartphones are being invented. They will have even more apps. Some will translate languages. What do you think phones will do next? Bracelet phone. A bracelet phone is being tested. It will send a picture of a screen to your arm. So you can use apps by pressing your skin. You can type in emails too. Wow, could you imagine if we had a bracelet phone? Flexible phone. Scientists are making bendable phones. These phones won't break if you drop them. Wow, let's look at the different parts of this flexible phone. You have the camera, apps, and the search bar. So it's just like the phones that we have now, except this one is flexible. You can bend it and it won't break. Wow, we learned a lot about communication technology today. We talked about the telegraph, box phone, radio waves, dial-up phones, computers, cell phones, smartphones, and even future phones. Thanks for listening to today's Read Aloud.